today on Divorce Court. I'm here because I'm trying to get my marriage back on the right track the way it used to be. We have a lot of trust issues in our marriage, and I'm known for being promiscuous, but I'm changing my life around, and I really want him to start trusting me. Shanetta says she's gonna change and she's not gonna cheat anymore, but I'm not so sure. He has to put in more effort. You know, a marriage is not one way. A marriage is two ways. If Shanetta doesn't change after 10 years of marriage, I'm gonna have to get a divorce. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Shanetta Rice and Javon Rice. The two of you have been married for 10 years. Uh, you are having difficulties in your marriage, so you have come here. Ms. Rice, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you and Mr. Rice are here in divorce court today? When me and him first met, my husband, mother, and my father, yeah, they was dating. Say that again. My husband's. Ms. Mr. Rice's. Mother, mother and my father and your father were dating yes when you two met yes and and see i i feel like that kind of speak language right there you mm -hmm. know yeah and at first like did you I, live in the household as brother and sister after a while yes but see i was living in new jersey mm -hmm. you know and then i came down to live with my father and that's when I started living there. He was actually in basic training during that time, so he wasn't living there. Uh -huh. So when he finally came, you know, he started living there as well. So then you was... Is that when that happened, when you two got together? Or we was talking actually as friends at first. We was more of best friends. It wasn't nothing sexual at the beginning, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. How did your families re re respond to you two becoming a romantic couple, well, getting married? Yeah, well, at first, you know, they didn't even expect anything of that, you know? But then once they found out, they was upset. They really mm -hmm. was upset. But then they got used to it, you know? And mm -hmm. as time went, my father and his mom actually separated. Okay. Yeah, so it kind of made the situation a little better. But okay. they, they was upset. M Mr. Rice, is, is that an accurate recitation of what occurred between the two of you? Yeah, but... We wasn't never really living. I never really lived there. Like uh -huh. I was like in the military, so I was like there for like there a for month or two and leave. And leave. And come on yeah, back. so it wasn't really like I was permanently living with them. I got you. Yeah. So I understand the nature of your relationship, how it got started. Now tell me why we're here in divorce court. What has happened since you've been married? The problem started when he left. Like I said, to go to Iraq. Mm -hmm. And I started dating one guy that I was dating before me and him even got together, you know? How long was he gone before you started dating this first guy? About three months. Three months. And how long did you date him? A second. A sec, just? A split second. A, you just, one time? Yeah. How could you date if you married, though? And then, when that was over, what, what was the next affair? The next affair was with another man that I met at a club. Uh-huh. Right, and... How long after the first affair did you start the second affair? <laughs> a month. A month. <laughs> and how long did you stay with this second man? I've never been with any of them, but I... One night stands with all of them? Basically. Okay. Right. And I dealt with him for maybe about two years. <laughs> the second one? The second one. Total. So that wasn't a one night stand, that was two years. Mm. It wasn't a one night stand, but in my eyesight, like I didn't want him. Like it was just satisfaction to me. Mm. Mr. Rice, were you o ever aware of all these affairs she was having? Um, not at first, uh -huh. but you know, when I was in Iraq, I was getting like, you know, emails, text mm -hmm. messages, you know, telling me like she's doing this. And I'm like, nah, she's not doing that. I, I don't believe it. But then when she finally, you know, confessed to me, it just tore me up. Were you still in Iraq when yeah, she confessed I was still, to you? Yeah, I was still in Iraq. This man over in a foreign country trying to survive, and she, he's got to deal with that mess from you? <laughs> Did you ever consider not cheating on him while he was gone? It just seems like you never had any intention of stopping to sleeping with people. That you just, yeah, he's not here, so I'm gonna give me a dude. No, it wasn't like that at all. Like, before he left, we did have that conversation, and we agreed that, you know, I was gonna be his wife. 
You know, but when we got together, we was only together for maybe about three months before he left to go to Iraq. So it's like I wasn't really ready to be a wife. No, we, was and married. I, we was married for three months before I went to Iraq. We was together like a year before that. Okay, but well, marriage you were married, like... But you were go but, but you were married when you did I all understand. these things. You know what I was not... I, I don't feel like I was ready. I really was you not ready. Yes. Like... You, you were something. I don't know if it was not ready, but we'll figure <laughs> that out later. <laughs> <laughs> so, get me the man number three. Man number three, I didn't really have a man number three. You did have sex with another man after those first two men. Yes, I did. But it wasn't That's really a That's the guy I man. want to talk about I now. I know, but with that situation, like, it really, that was more of a recent thing than in the past type situation. Like, I know that's crazy to say, but honestly, like, I, I chilled out for a while, you know, because he so was in Iraq. But once he came from Iraq, so I So what you you're saying is you want credit for the couple of years in there that you didn't actually cheat on him. That's not so bad. I don't want Wait. credit, but I just... Well, something things went, happen. Yeah, you know? yeah. Things, things happen do happen. Things, yeah, yeah. Miss Rice, things do happen. Way. And something extraordinary happened with this third man, did it not? It actually was the second man. The second man. Right. Well, something extraordinary happened with him. Yes. Yes. We're gonna get to that. Okay. It wasn't that bad. For that us. is the most trifling, low-down, tacky, freak behavior <laughs> I have ever heard of in my entire life. This man is out here fighting for our country, and you over there acting like, you know, it wasn't what? that bad. It's horrendous. Yes, ma'am. It, 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 it's... So tell me what extraordinary thing happened as a consequence with your affair with guy number two. I end up getting pregnant. Oh. He was still in Iraq, yes? Yes. Did you tell him? Yes. Mr. Rice, tell me what she said to you, how you found out, and how you felt. Um, I was on my computer, and I just mm -hmm. got a, you know, a Yahoo message popped up. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, I got to tell you something. And I'm like, OK, what is it? And then she just hit me with, I'm pregnant. And my heart just, like, dropped. And I basically, like, destroyed my room, you know, destroyed the laptop, everything. I was, like, so mad. And they had to take my weapon away. They, I, I don't Didn't know. know what you were going to do. Yeah, yeah. basically. So, I was destroyed, and I asked her, you know, to, you know, all right, have an abortion, and she refused. So that kind of made me like, you know, why? Why would you refuse that? And I, I don't know, I, I didn't talk to her for a while after that, like, probably like the rest of the time I was over there, like four or five months, I didn't speak to her, no contact or nothing. So when I came home, and then I actually seen her stomach, it was like, it was a reality just hit me again, like, yeah, she, well, she really is pregnant. And eventually, you know, I'm a, you know, I got a big heart, and I was raised by my mom, you know. So I kind of just, like, forgave her and accepted the pregnancy, and I just wanted to, like, make it work, because I'm like, you've done the worst, so nothing else can be done. It can only so, go up from here. Basically, yeah. Once you got pregnant, did you continue to see the guy you got pregnant by? Yes. Because he went back to Iraq. No, I, I was home. Oh, was home, yeah, and you I, were yeah. seeing? Yeah, I was home. Your baby's daddy while he was home. Watching the baby. Watching yes. the baby. It wasn't that bad as far as watching no baby, but yes, it came What do you mean it wasn't that bad? Hey, 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 hey. That is the most trifling, low down, tacky, freak behavior I have ever heard of in my entire life. This man is out here fighting for our country, potentially dying. You drop a huge bomb on him like I. I'm, I'm just screwing around on you while you're gone. And oh, by the way, I got knocked up by another dude, and you just drop it on him like it wasn't even important. And then you continue to see that dude when this man came home from defending his country, and you over there acting like, you know, it wasn't what? that bad. It's horrendous. Yes, ma'am. It, 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 <laughs> it shows no character, no moral compass, no care, no, no, uh, no contrition, no nothing. It's just like, well, he let me get away with it. Well, That's see, the it best I could like do. That, Ms. Lynn. It really was not like that because, you know, even though I did what I did, he did basically the same thing. He also got another woman pregnant. Oh. And 
<laughs> oh yeah, he got another woman pregnant as well. And he said his reason for doing that was because I did it. So it was payback to me. He also did you talked do to my that? I didn't get her pregnant. It wasn't my baby. It, it was it was she ended up getting pregnant, but that was during the time we were separated. We separated, and then, you know, I started, you know, seeing other people, and then she ended up getting pregnant. But then she came back, you know, to get, work it out, and then I was like, yo, you know, I got somebody you pregnant. You cut it off with the other woman. Yeah, I tried to. Well, but I she did. was pregnant. Yeah, but she was pregnant. Yeah, so I was trying to, like, keep it cool, because I don't know if it was mine or not, so I didn't want to just, like, you know, leave me alone, don't, don't contact me no more, because, you know, the okay, child support. Right. So I just, like, yeah. kind of, like, okay. yeah. Okay. Give me a minute to decompress. <laughs> they don't look at me the same. Me or my daughter. I think it's like a big misunderstanding. Like mm -hmm. she sees it like that because of what she did. Mm -hmm. I see it like that because when they come and get the nieces, the other nieces, they don't never come get my daughter. You understand mm -hmm. me? When they buy their nieces and stuff, then they don't never buy my daughter anything. Well, you have two major complaints. One is you feel like his, his family does not accept you and the baby, and you also feel like Mr. Rice is not supportive of you. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me why you feel that way? Well, I feel that his family don't really accept me and my daughter because of the things that I did to him, you know? That's one reason. And then with my daughter, you know, they expected me to have a baby by him. I had a baby by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that 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 brings a little issue as well. Why they don't look at me the same, me or my daughter. But I honestly, I honestly don't think like they mistreat my daughter or our daughter just because you know, you know because she's not mine. I think they're just doing that, like you said, because of what she did. And I don't honestly think that they're even doing that. It's like I think it's like a big misunderstanding. Like mm -hmm. she sees it like that because of what she did. Mm -hmm. but... I see it like that. Because when they come and get the nieces, the other nieces, they don't ever come get my daughter. You understand mm -hmm. me? When they buy their nieces and stuff, they, they don't never buy my daughter anything. They don't buy, like, for example, for Christmas, they got tablets and all of that. What did my daughter get? And that's because you I already understand had me? her. No, it does not matter. If they buy Ms. Weiss, let, 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 let me say this to you. You did their son so dirty. I understand. And that's not... And I know, I know that he accepts that baby as his, but that's somebody else's baby, and they don't want to spend money on somebody else's baby. Maybe, maybe that is not the greatest character in the world. Maybe they could have risen above it, but you couldn't rise above the gutter not to do it in the first place. So to e expect them to rise so much above that is really ludicrous. Yeah. It's just ludicrous. Tell me why you find Mr. Rice unsupportive of you. Why do you think he's not a good husband to you? I wouldn't say he's not a good husband, because he is, overall. But I honestly feel like, for example, I love nice things, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I expressed to him, baby, you know, you know, let's can you try to buy me this? You know, I really like this. Or can we go out and eat here? Or just do anything nice, you know? And I express that to him. And let's say a year go by and nothing happened. It's like I was speaking for no reason. He couldn't... Okay. It's like he, he moves Ms. so slow with trying to make me happy and then when someone else makes me happy, he gets upset. But you well, didn't what, do this at what, the beginning. What, 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 what? Mr. Rice, can you respond to that? Yeah, she kinda, says you don't do anything to make her happy. I kind of do procrastinate on some things, but, like, I work, like, 12, 13-hour days, so... First of all, he just got that job this what, like year. like, a year so, ago? No, nah. no, no, okay. no. Right. August <laughs> of last year. If you're going to forgive her mm -hmm. and you're going to make a, make a marriage work, you kind of got to participate. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you're participating? Yeah, but probably not to my full potential because, like, it's so much going on. It's, like, trust issues and... Yeah. I want to see what we're going to do next. How are we going to come back from this? That's what I'd like to do. Is that what you'd like to do? Yeah. All right. Mr. Rice, mm -hmm. do you want this marriage to work? Yes, I want it to work. Like, I just, all I want is, like, I just want a fresh start. Like, you raise, like, now you can't raise nothing, but it's like a clean slate, a fair shot. What would give you a clean slate? 
What could she do? Because I got to tell you, I could, I wouldn't have been able to trust her anymore because of the nature of the teach. It wasn't, you know, isolated incident. It just was she felt like she wanted to do something and she had absolutely no moral compunction not to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you think she's changed? Yeah, I think she changed a lot from then till now and whatever. That's why I, I'm willing to, you know, try to work it out. But if it was still the same, then I, I, I just, I would have been gone. I would have been, got a divorce. But I see the change in her. I just want like a She's extra trying little, to be a better person. Yeah, she's trying to be a better person, exactly. I just want like a little extra little push or somebody to give her advice. Okay. Ms. Rice, let me say this to you. In your papers, you talked about a lot of small things that he wasn't doing for you that you felt insulted about or he's not going to take you out to dinner and you feel like he's not supporting and loving of you. I think two things are going on. Number one, he's hesitant to shower you with love and affection because you've hurt him so grossly and so greatly, so extremely and so often. So it's hard to come busting out with flowers and roses to the best restaurant in town when you've done him so dirty. You know what I mean? So you got to lay off those expectations. So, because whatever hesitations he has, you put them there. Yes, ma'am. Okay? <laughs> Who you are is not what you've done, it's how you recover from it. From today forward, you have to express to him undying devotion. You have to give him complete and utter support. You have to manage to show him that you can be trusted. You have to go above and beyond before he comes back with anything because you have to be a better person. <laughs> so stop. You know, you know how dirty you did him. You do. And I think that's why you're, why isn't he giving me, because you feel less than because you behaved like you were less than. What I'm saying is, that was yesterday. And we're gonna shut the door on yesterday. But it, ha it has to be new behavior and thought patterns and ideas from you in his direction. Well, no, I do do new things. Like, I used to hang out all the time. I don't hang out that much no more. I be home majority of the time. I do new I'm things, you know? I I I'm telling you, you keep telling me what you're doing and it's not working. So I'm trying to tell you, you must do more. Okay. Whatever you're doing, if it doesn't get you the result that you want, you move forward and do more and you do something else. Are you with me? Yes, That's yes. your job. If you want to feel better about you, you do better and be better and then he'll love you better. <laughs> you hear me? Yes, Whole new person today. <laughs> All right? Okay. He'll come along if you come, if you come correct. This matter is adjourned. After all I've been through in this marriage, you know, I still feel committed, like I can still move forward. Like I'm not holding any grudges or, or anything. I'm just ready to start, start fresh. I really want to live the life of a marriage person the way I should because I love my husband and I want my daughter to be raised in a good environment, you know? Not be the way I am. 